These hatchlings are four days old. Little quails. There's the light. I've just rigged up a 150 watt light bulb. Placed it on a steel mesh that I folded up. This is a normal storage container. As you can see I've got a thermometer at the back there. And that sender sends to this here. When they first hatch out you want them at about 37 degrees or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. But the temperature can go down uh, one or two or three or four degrees after that without too many hassles as long as they haven't got a breeze. And they're fairly comfortable. Along with my light hookup, I've got that to just a dimmer switch. So I can uh, place the light on low if I need to, if they're getting too hot, depending on the ambient temperature. And uh, if they're getting too cold, obviously I can place the heat up. It also saves power that you can regulate the, the power going to the wattage bulb. Being 150 watts, it's not always needed. I usually have it on 150 through winter and it pretty well stays on that if I'm hatching anything out through winter. But uh, here in summer, sometimes it's only needed on about half strength if not if that. Got a lid that I've cut in half. And that just fits against my wire platform. I can regulate the temperature also by the flaps that I just put over. They're old car mats that I've just cut up, cut a hole there, put the light on. I can just open them up if I need to get it, uh, uh, the temperature regulated or give them a bit of fresh air. Generally they don't need them, I can just leave them down. I have one water container. You can see it there, there's marbles in it. Uh, that's just so they don't drown. They have a tendency just to fall asleep, uh, like almost instantaneously. But if they fall asleep with, the, uh, with their head in the water, they could die or drown or get um, too wet and then and die of uh, hypothermia. So it's best to have some marbles in so that they have a chance to be able to get out of the water, particularly when they're first born or first hatch out. And at this stage, I've just got one little container of food and I also throw a handful of food on the floor and let them scratch underneath these hay clippings. I've got some kitchen toweling, paper toweling, and underneath the paper toweling I've got some non-slip matting that you can buy from any uh, supermarket or, uh, or any type of hardware shop and um, it's what people typically put in their cupboards to put their pots and pans on and glasses so they don't slip. If I find that um, it's best to have these little fellas on a non-slip surface, otherwise they can develop a splayed leg appearance and uh, it's difficult to rectify if you don't get it early. So it's best to have them on stable footing. The paper um, underneath the straw is just uh, so that it can easily be cleaned up. Knot it off. It's in the middle of all this action. Just got stock on there. So just uh, knot off. They need a lot of sleep, a lot of rest, just like any newborn.
as they grow, probably in the next uh, three or four days, I'll split them up and put them into another storage container, or I'll place them into a homemade brooder out of a cage, uh, which is a bit of a bigger area and has a mesh bottom on it. And that just makes it cleaner for them, because obviously as they get bigger, they get messier. And uh, they need more room and space, of course. That's it.